A major focus in the Casey Anthony trial has been the trail of cyber evidence. Investigators say someone was searching for things like chloroform, neck breaking, and a ruptured spleen on the Anthony's home computer. And it serves as a warning for everyone. Be careful what you search for and what you share with others because it may come back to haunt you. So can you ever really delete what's on your computer? Consumer editor Stephen Cooper has that answer. Google search with the terms neck breaking. With the chloroform keyword search hit, we were able to recover a complete uh, internet history. How would someone get rid of their internet search history? What does the Casey Anthony trial and the Anthony Weiner scandal have in common? To be clear, the picture was of me and I sent it. The computer age may have been the downfall for both of them. The searches, the emails, the tweets, all beg one simple question. Can you ever totally erase something you've done on your computer? Y you can. That's Eric Rowan, a local computer expert. He says there's a difference between erase and delete. If you delete a file, you simply create an empty spot on your hard drive. But the file is really still there until your hard drive gets so full that it needs the space. Only then would your deleted file get completely overwritten. For example, Rowan saved a screen grab from ClickOrlando.com onto his hard drive. And now I'm going to delete the file. We then watched him delete it. But with the software program that any consumer could buy, we recovered that file fairly quickly. To really get rid of a file, you actually have to give it a sort of digital burial. And you can do that with a product like Browser Cleaner. It performs what is known as a three-pass, digitally burying that empty spot your file created on the hard drive with three layers of zeros. That's probably enough to elude local law enforcement agencies, but probably not the CIA or FBI. You would need software that does seven passes or 35 passes, and even then, the federal agencies tend to be one step ahead of the average computer user. Still, Browser Cleaner is very comprehensive. It can wipe out everything from instant messaging to file sharing. It would be undetectable. So I can delete my search history. Yes. I can delete emails. Yes. Tweets. Yes. Facebook postings. Sure. But remember, your emails, tweets, and postings may live on someone else's computer, if not on Twitter or Facebook's servers. Here's an interesting footnote for Mac users. Your operating systems have a disk utility program already built in that will run a 7-pass or 35-pass cleanup of deleted files. I have a Mac, so I know I have the right stuff. Yes. But are there other products that you can put on to run this stuff? There are. One is called Eraser, but it tends to be more complicated to use. It's probably for the average consumer, the, the simpler the better. All right. Thanks so much, Stephen.